Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorio Reddit Weekly. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. And uh, let's look at the top posts for the last week here. Uh, some of these I've looked at already, because uh, you know, get bored, gotta browse Reddit. Um, last tree in the factory. <laughs> nice, I like how they left a, or built a little river here, a little stream rather, with a bridge, some stepping stones. Uh, and the tree, this is this is fantastic. The trees, you know, dead is 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 all hack, but th that's okay. <laughs> it's uh, the pollution's killed it completely, but it's it's there. Tree soaking up pollution. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> there, that ought to. Do. <laughs> oh my god, uh, I'm not sure if that tree can absorb any more pollution. This new cover art is um, I don't know. Why is this a stack inserter? No IO. Something number. I can't even read what this person is writing. Why putting things into requester chest? <laughs> Not connected to anything. Too lazy to draw this. Not connected to anything. Can't be yellow. Oh my gosh, yeah. What recipe is this? <laughs> Oh yeah, this is tied into, oh my gosh. way you violently correct the image, not meaning to offend, reminds me of how my high school teachers corrected exams. <laughs> it really does. I've never heard the term violently corrected, but I have to agree completely. Um, yes. Uh, these images, these cover arts are not supposed to make sense. They make no sense whatsoever. Um, but they're there to look fancy. This is painful to watch. Oh. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, that, that hurts me a little bit inside. I might be wrong, but it seems to me that your turn on the right starts earlier than the one on the left. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah, maybe. I'm just demonstrating all possible ways to build a corner and how bad they look. Yeah, they do look pretty bad. <laughs> uh, this one's not too bad. This one looks just absolutely awful. Reason 785, the Factory devs are amazing. If you save the game and quit within five seconds, you aren't prompted to save before quitting. The game is not saved. Are you sure you want to quit? Oh, so that's just, like, an example, but... Yeah, so this is this is really nice. This is a fantastic feature because um, it's really annoying in like 95% of other games where if you save the game and then immediately go to quit, it prompts you to save again. It's like, come on, game, I, I, I just saved. I don't need to save again. <laughs> um, this is really nice. Part of the joy of Factorio for me is how well designed it is. So many little details like this made me smile when I noticed them. It makes most games seem so clunky and disorganized by contrast. Completely agree. It does just put so much detail and thought into everything. Can't unsee Christian Cow. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure about the new icon for, like, beacons missing modules or machines missing modules, like the robot thing here. Um, the Christian thing, this almost to me is more like medical cow. I see this more as like a hospital symbol. Um, I guess the Christian thing, maybe it's like sideways. This is like most definitely a cow though. <laughs> the factory moost grow. And on the sixth day, God created an engineer and saw that it was good, and God commanded the engineer thusly, go forth in the world and industrial life, grow and multiply thy factory the farthest ends of the world. Amen. <laughs> oh my gosh. All I see is finished cow. For <laughs> Z ruined that logo for me. Factorio has to change this now. <laughs> Space is cheap, build big, or how I killed my FPS in 400 hours. Um, okay. This is a monstrosity of the best kind. I think these are substations or power poles, one or the other. Uh, that's a lot of stuff, man. I don't, what, what is this? This is like more belt than anything else. I can't even tell. Oh my lord. This is actually insane. They probably didn't use beacon. They probably didn't use beacons or modules, did they? More screenshots. Bug almost killed me. Landfill almost killed me. The power grid almost killed me. <laughs> um. Okay, so they got loops. Ouch. Um. Yeah, they don't use beacon and modules, which is why everything is gigantic, freaking huge. Because <laughs> oh, this is cool though. Uh, I mean, they're at space. There is a ton of space available, but yeah, you will kill your FPS doing that. When you crash deep in buyer territory, but you got mad legs. Oh no. 
Oh man, yeah, those are this is like a special exoskeleton. This is definitely modded, man. Look at him go. There's so many bugs they just can't even move. Look at the look at look at look at this. <laughs> just look. Oh my lord. They're finally making it out. You can see him clearing a path, which is look like look at that. You can actively see the path he's clearing as he runs through. Oh, he's almost dead. Run! No! Oh, he's so dead, dude. Is he? Is he making it out? <gasps> oh my God! Is he gonna make it? I thought he. I thought this was completely clear, but it's not. Clearly, they have expansion on. I think. Oh no, these are just groups. So they wiped out all these bases. These are just the groups left. Oh my God! He's gonna make it. Normally, I wouldn't watch a video this long, but yes, safety, run! <laughs> Oh my god, that was so intense. Holy moly. I assume you'll run over by a train immediately after ending this recording. <laughs> Only real thread in this game. Threat, yeah. Wait, I've seen that train station before. You have that ridiculous artillery train that crawls around. Awesome stuff. Yes, that's, um... That's insane. 6,800 people watching Giant Waffle automate smelting. It's great to see people's brains working when presented with a new puzzle and a new set of tools. Most of us on this sub have gotten so used to standard layouts so that we forget what it was like trying to figure out the stuff out at the beginning. We get stuff out at the beginning. Yeah, definitely. Also really nice thing that Sing Chat tell people not spoil it for him by telling him what to do. Very true. One of the loneliest one is the loneliest number. That that's <laughs> Thank you a little short on circuits there, buddy. Um, you may want to boost green circuit production slightly, like don't go overboard or anything. It's probably iron, always the iron. <laughs> oh, the, that couldn't be more true. Couldn't be said any better. 550 hours, I finally finished my no logistics bots. Mega bus, pioneers, run. Holy mo- oh dear lord. I don't know why you would do this to yourself. That's so cool looking though. Why would you do this? There's something severely wrong with these people. My head hurts just looking at this. Oh my lord. I actually feel really nervous looking at this. Look at all these. This is really neat. Um, This must be something for like a helicopter or plane, I think. Game finished. 548 hours. Seems about right. Quick sync, holy shit, well done. <laughs> yes, basically. <laughs> How to program your reactor to save energy cells. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So stack size to one, that's a good tip. Um, if you have a really small one reactor setup like this and you're just starting out your setup, I think this is an excellent thing. Um, this is really good. Um, past that, I don't see, I've never understood, um, like, like, in this situation, if you're, like, just starting making fuel cells and you're low, stuff like that, or if you're just having a crisis, like, constantly of sh fuel cell shortage, um, I can understand it, but I've never understood, like, trying to conserve the fuel cells. Um, like, people do these builds like this with the steam, but, like, on huge scales and all this complicated wiring, and it's, like, once you get the Colvrex process going, you just have, like, infinite... 235 and you just make these things forever I, I've, I've just never really understood the, the reasoning behind it again to reiterate I get this like if it's a small setup and you're just starting out totally like I would even do this but I've seen people do this on bases where it's like you have like three gigawatts of nuclear power and some gigantic base it's like clearly you have enough production to just make infinite fuel cells why would you try to restrict them <laughs> Uh, what a lovely and natural path through this dense forest. Oh yeah, how did that get there, I wonder? For my first time clearing a forest with grenades, I was playing without biters, so I didn't use any weapons before I got my grenade and went to find some trees. I thought the effects were really cool, turning the whole screen red, also the first time I died. Also the first time I died, also, so before unlocking trains too. <laughs> so true. I eat such drink at my desk while playing Vectorio, so I made this. Oh, Vectorio coaster, that's so cool. Press you remember basic human needs while playing Vectorio. We don't play here. 
Reminds me I need to empty the bucket under my chair. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, your mod has hit the big time when your mod is immor immortalized as randomly generated train stop name. Angel and Bob's is hard. <laughs> and here, Pydon laughing evilly in the background as he keeps on gathering thousands of tears shed in his name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, train throughput test. Look at those inserters go. Holy moly. This is sped up, but... Looks like about 10.5 seconds per train, with 8 trains carrying 4k or each, that's a little over 3k or per second. For reference, 1,000 seconds per experiment base with full productivity consumes about 2k or a second. Um, so this is a lot of ore per second, basically. Dev team, please let us flip the chemical plant inputs. Yes! Oh my god, please! I suspect this... <clears throat> One of those deliberately obnoxious things that's supposed to make logistics more interesting. Unfortunately, it doesn't help the pipe that pipe work is such a pain in the ass to begin with. Yes. I believe this is the exact reason why pipe work is so complicated. <laughs> yeah. Train! Ah! What? What the hell? Why am I never this lucky? Are you kidding me? Go buy a lottery ticket. Now they just burned all their luck. Exterminator wants to know your location. <laughs> yeah, I commented on that, but I forgot. <laughs> oh my god, it's hilarious. Please. <laughs> I, I would. I would like to learn the, these skills. Look at me flying away to join the club of 15% of Steam players who launch a rocket. Um, it is really surprising to me that only 15% of players have launched a rocket. Uh, but, and I actually commented that here, but what someone pointed out, which I didn't consider, is uh, it only counts it if you get the achievement for launching a rocket, and a lot of people are playing modded, um, like, before they launch a rocket, um, and the mods disable the achievements. So, that's why. I think, part of why. But congrats to this person. Um, what am I looking at? I spent way too much time designing this, so I'm showing it off 8 to 6 inline balancer. I feel like there's some splitters missing in here. Hmm. It's input balance, but it doesn't look output balance. Okay, yeah, it looked like there was some stuff missing. In fact, I don't think you can get full throughput out of this. Each group of three belts, you have some sort of partial one of three balancer, which is then partially balanced with the other two belts. Instead, they should simply go through three to three balancers. Interesting. I don't understand any of this, so. Right, in fact, so after 195 hours of playing, I finally launched my rocket. I needed advice. Should I proceed to Mega Base or try to get my life back? Um. Damn. Are they playing on, like, a phone? What is this quality? The factory must grow! Life? What's that? How can we automate it? <laughs> The map should display light entities as a current color rather than just default blue. Um, map view. The way we make a dynamic display seen from the map view without using power switches. Ah, yes. That would be nice. Wait, there's a mod for this? Lamps on map. I've never seen this mod. Oh, that's so cool. That, that would be really helpful. When you start something, you're going to regret having to finish. Ah, is this the uh, 30 stack challenge it looks like? Or 40? How are we fit in a chest now? It's like the opposite spaghetti. I like it. <laughs> Mall of everything. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much like a 30 or 40 stack challenge. It's really hard. I like the passive aggressive way of telling me that I'm an idiot. Exporting empty blueprint makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Very, uh, pr pretty, pretty blunt. Give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man not to export empty fish, feed him for a lifetime. <laughs> I remember feeling ever so slightly attacked when this happened before. I really knew how the interface handled blueprints. It never stopped me from being an idiot, though. I wish it deleted the empty blueprint if you did that. That would be really nice. I kind of remember them saying that was supposed to be a feature or something. Hey, my junction slash roundabout. Um, it's a roundabout, so... 0 out of 10. 7 out of 10. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, not 
bad for a start, but it could really do with some more signals. Um, or don't use roundabouts or four-way junctions. I would agree. Yeah, I, I would not suggest roundabouts. It's very hard to make them work correctly. Um, was that it? It's an ad. It's an ad. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, right. I forgot. I need to switch. You guys have requested I go to, like, night mode. Totally forgot. I'm sorry. I'll try to remember next time. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed some good stuff this week, as always. And I think that's going to do it. Um, leave your thoughts and stuff below. Always interested in what you guys have to say. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all. And do take care.